top of the day to you. I'm so glad you could tune into today's service. It promises to be exciting. Before we go ahead, let us pray. In Jesus' name, our dear Heavenly Father, here we are once again in honor to your holy name. As we hope to hear your words, to imbibe your truth, and to find peace and grace in your bosom. We ask that your spirit will be present here in this service to teach us, to instruct us, and to lead us to the glory of your name. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. I hope you have a wonderful service. back royal i hope you're having a great time into service now it's time for nuggets and this week we are taking you through part two of the topic valuable gifts you should give our topic is valuable gifts you should give do you know you have valuable gifts you can give in this month's nuggets, you will be taught nine gifts you should cheerfully give. We saw the first three last week 
this week we shall look at three other gifts you can give let's go number one the gift of acceptance make those around you feel accepted and appreciated for who they are the apostles accepted Paul number two the gift of seeing the best in people let others know what you like about them the Queen of Sheba told Solomon she admired his wisdom and lastly number three the gift of giving up a bad habit give up a bad habit and make those you annoy with it happy Zacchaeus gave up stealing make sure you give this gift this week and remember 2nd Corinthians chapter 9 verse 7 says always give cheerfully enjoy the rest of the service hello royal it's time for the what it's time for the truth and you and I know that God's word is the truth. Okay, I hope you're ready. Now I have a question for you. Do you know an exceptional being? Have you seen one before? On TV, in church, at the mall? Don't look too far away. I'm sure there's one in your home. I'm so sure about that. Now they enter this world as cute pies and then become lovely dainties. By the time they cross from being sweet 16 to women and then to mothers, they become the exceptional beings we want to talk about today today sunday may 14 is mother's day <laughs> now have you greeted your mother with a hug a kiss if not please immediately after your online service make sure you do so make her know she's extra special mothers need lots and lots of encouragement and love how do i know i'm a mom too our task have no ending but god is our helper and so we are not complaining we are serving with joy <laughs> and so yes our topic today says the exceptional beings one day I'm telling you a story now one day a troubled child came home and gave a letter to his mother he told her my teacher gave this letter to me and told me to only give it to my mom as his mother read the letter, her eyes filled with tears. Mom, is there a problem? Did I do something wrong in school? The boy asked. With shaky voice. With that shaky voice, the mother slowly began to read the content of the letter to her son. Guess what the content was? Your son is a genius. This school is too small for him and doesn't have enough good teachers to train him. Please teach him yourself. The boy 
was dumbfounded. The next morning, Nancy Edison pulled her son out of school. And from that day, she began to teach him diligently at home. His name was Thomas Edison. Many years later, he became the greatest inventor of his time. He invented the electric bulb, the first electric generator, the first record player, and over 1,000 other inventions, and is still celebrated worldwide as the father of inventions. One day after his mom had died, he was going through her things and found the letter which was given to him by his teacher for his mother several years ago. Remember? Remembered it was the same letter that made his mom pull him out of school and undertake many years of homeschooling. So he opened it. The, the message written on the letter was, your son is mentally ill. We cannot let him attend our school anymore. He is expelled. Wow. Thomas Edison then realized what his mother did for him, how she believed in him and refused to accept what the school said about him and single-handedly taught him and turned a mentally ill child into the genius of the century. Did you find an exceptional being in this story? Yes. Yes. Thomas Edison's mom she was an exceptional being now that is the stuff mothers are made of mothers are exceptional beings there is no telling what mothers can do for their children and this has been from bible days let us hear the story of one mother in the Bible. So our Bible story for today is taken from the book of 1 Kings chapter 3 verses 16 to 27. I'll read New Living Translation. Some time later, two prostitutes came to the king to have an argument settled. Please, my lord, one of them began. This woman and I live in the same house. I gave birth to a baby while she was with me in the house. Three days later, this woman also had a baby. We were alone. There were only two of us in the house. But her baby died during the night when she rolled over it. Then she got up in the night and took my son from beside me while I was asleep. She laid her dead child in my arms and took mine to sleep beside her. And in the morning when I tried to nurse my son, he was dead. But when I looked more closely in the morning light, I saw that it wasn't my son at all. Then the other woman interrupted, It certainly was your son, and the living child is mine. No, the first woman said, The living child is mine, and the dead one is yours. And they argued back and forth before the king. Then the king said, Let's get the facts straight. Both of you claim the living child is yours and each says that the dead one belongs to the other. All right, bring me a sword. So a sword was brought to the king. 
Then he said, Cut the living child in two and give half to one woman and half to the other. Then the woman who was the real mother of the living child and who loved him very much cried out, Oh no, my Lord! Give her the child! Please do not kill him! But the other woman said, All right! He will neither he will be neither yours nor mine. Divide him between us. Then the king said, Do not kill the child, but give him to the woman who wants him to leave, for she is the mother. Wow! Did you hear that? Instead of her baby to be divided and killed, she cried out to the king to give the baby to the other woman. No mother can stand to see her child killed. Such is the heart of mothers. Mothers are daring courageous, sacrificial, loyal, loving, sweet, forgiving, selfless, patient, hardworking, kind, protective, strong, gentle, brave, compassionate, understanding, comforting, supportive, thoughtful, and much more. And I am sure you will agree with me. As the world celebrates mothers today, make sure you celebrate and honor your mother or the mother figure in your life. As a matter of fact, you may have more than one mother. Make sure you honor them all. Now you may ask, how can you honor your mother? Tell her you love her and thank her for being your mom. Number two, think of some special things she has done for you or taught you and thank her for them. Number three, you can pray for her and thank God for her. And number four, make her proud by being a wise child everywhere you go. So, what are the truths in today's teaching? Number one, Mothers are a special gift from God. Yes? Yes! <laughs> Number two. There is no telling the extent a mother can go for her children. Now, what are our take-homes today? What lessons have we learned? Number one. Love value and respect your mother. Number two, your mother needs a lot of encouragement. So, encourage her. Number three, the greatest gift you can give to your mother is to be a wise child everywhere you go and never let her down and she'll be super proud of you now our memory verse for today is taken from proverbs chapter 1 verses 8 and 9 it says my child obey the teachings of your parents and wear the teachings as you would a pretty heart or a lovely 
necklace. Can we take that together again? Proverbs chapter 1 verses 8 to 9. It says, My child, obey the teachings of your parents and wear their teachings as you will a pretty heart or a lovely necklace. Okay, so thank you so much for staying through till the end of today's service. But before you go, I have home play for you. So what do we have in home play today? Two questions. One, what two adjectives best describe your mommy? or the mommy figure in your life? Explain. <laughs> and number two, throughout this week, what will you do to show your mommy you appreciate her? Do it and keep doing it. All right. God bless you. Thank you for staying through till the end. So before you go, I'm going to ask you to please subscribe to our YouTube channel if you haven't already done that. Give us a thumbs up, like and share our videos. Make sure your friends also get blessed. Don't be selfish. Also follow us on our Telegram channels. And please download the Royal Scroll from the link showing on your screen. And do not forget to be a part of the next Excellent Plan chat room by sending in questions on the topics we've taught on any other topic you may have to the numbers showing on your screen right now via WhatsApp, Telegram or SMS. Bye Royal! Remember to keep loving your mom throughout this week. Jesus loves you so much too. So go and conquer your world for him in Jesus' name. Amen.